This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. <laughs> hey, Luke, let's restore bipedal fuck sheep. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready. It's done. This look at, is that file. Wow! Look at this file. Look at this, with our our ungutted moose. Our ungutted moose. <laughs> our, ungutted moose our unskinned moose skin rug. It's just a rotting moose. <laughs> yeah. It might be slightly preserved. You don't know. I guess. Yeah. Maybe it's a desiccated moose carcass with a very well preserved skin. Mm hmm. A moose mummy, if you will. A moose mummy! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I think that makes sense. That might be something yeah, that has probably. never existed. A moose mummy? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, there might be a mummified moose, one that was, you know, caught up in the cold and died or something like that. And yeah, you know what? I guess we, we get some cold, dry areas in Canada. There's probably a moose yeah. that got stuck somewhere and got good and mummified as a result. Yeah, yeah, like all of the all of the mummified like hi like hikers on Mount Everest that you'll see just sort of on the side of the path. That was my uh, band in high school, the mummified hikers. <laughs> mummified hikers. That's I such a I I actually like that. <laughs> that's such a fucking. That's like not only is that like an okay name for a band, but it's also like it's very Canadian. It's very CanCon. Like, <laughs> you'd never see an American band named the Mummified Hikers. <laughs> yeah, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. I suppose not. If yeah. you live in Canada, you get it. If you don't, you know, it's fine. Just trust me. It's it's it's, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. All right. Um, uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to uh, this game. Freddy Farkas. Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist. Yeah. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're doing well. You know? I know Matt is, like, trying to transition away from mummy talk, but for real, I would not mind becoming <laughs> an accidental mummy. Like, we've all got to die. <laughs> and I've talked before about how I don't want to get buried. I, I, I don't want to get buried and, like, embalmed and shit. I would actually quite like to be... I, I want to hire a bush pilot to eject me somewhere over the Arctic Circle, so I just tumble through the hopeless expanse of pines... And uh, become a real windfall for a family of stoats. That's how I want to go out. But um, <laughs> also becoming an accidental mummy. That's like someone stumbles across you later. It's like, fuck, what happened? Like, how did this guy get mummified? Like, you, you become a mystery. And like, uh, you know, people learn a little bit about the, the nature of decomposition and shit. <laughs> <laughs> All what you got to teach through death. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I don't want yeah. to be a deliberate mummy. I don't want to go out of the way to mummify myself. But like, but an accidental mum. Yeah, to just to just end up yeah. dying somewhere that someone like you know like opens a cellar and is like, oh fuck, that's a mummy. How did that happen? What Alex, were the conditions? The accidental mummy. How did <laughs> how did he desiccate faster than he rotted? What caused that? I wonder. This is a I this is of course assuming you ever take form as a human. Then, then, then yes. <laughs> yeah, I want. Yeah. Sorry to be clear. I want my host that is currently speaking to be found <laughs> as an accidental mummy. I'm gonna yeah. try to find a way to make that happen yeah. from uh, my vantage point out here in the soundless vacuum of space. Of course. I mean, of course. Let's just assume that's true across the board. Uh, yeah, a great idea. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's I, do let's. I don't I promise. Be... Sorry, go ahead, Luke. No, 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 please. I was gonna <laughs> say I I don't promise to stop talking about mummies, by the way. But I was no. gonna segue back into game talk. <laughs> yeah, no, I was they're... gonna continue to talk about mummies, actually. So we're <laughs> we're still on the same wavelength because I think it would be fun, you know, to kind of riff on what you were going on, uh, to be a mysterious mummy, um, to like you know pay somebody. <clears throat> to not like um, register a flight plan or anything like that. Have me in like jeans and a t-shirt on the you know the precipice of death, and then fly me out over the Antarctic Circle and just eject me 
So, like, one day, maybe, deep into the future, during some expedition throughout the Antarctic, they find this dude in t-shirt and jeans, mummified, you know, maybe a small crater around him. I love it. Because, like, my goal in being ejected out over the Arctic Circle was that something does eat me. But if you got yeah. dropped over the somewhere over the Antarctic, you wouldn't decompose because it's too cold. And you wouldn't get eaten by penguins. Or not by most penguins, I don't think. Um, right, yeah. Plus, like, I think and if you go did, deep enough inland, it. you don't get penguins so much. So, yeah. Probably. There's nothing there for them. So. I think this is a real opportunity to not wear jeans and a t-shirt. I think this is a real opportunity to wear, like, uh, medieval armor. <laughs> 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 okay, That's I was gonna, I was prepared to refute, but I have no argument. <laughs> just, just, just you, get, you get like a period costume, so people think that like you're a very, very lost Viking. <laughs> like I think that right there. That's, then, that's gonna be more confusing and mysterious. But then they see like the modern dental work, and you're like, oh, I see. He's just an asshole. <laughs> He just wanted to briefly excite a bunch of historians and get people even, talking. They won't even think that because they won't. Nobody's going to think ill of the dead, right? So their first thought is going to be, "Oh, someone did this to him." <laughs> but no, little do they <laughs> I know. I don't know if that's true. If anything, the modern politics have taught me is that people are willing to like, like point all of their ire at literally anything these days. Yeah, that's true, but so, I, like, if I, they can get pissed off at a corpse, they absolutely will. I I like um so I like both plans. One is if you're dressed as like a viking or a knight or something and you're found in the Antarctic circle, um it someone's going to find that and then realize that it's a hoax and then realize this person deliberately made a hoax of their own corpse. They're going to have to think about Maybe. that and live with that. <laughs> uh, I like Luke's, though, because if you're just wearing normal clothes and you're found as a frozen corpsicle in the Arctic Circle, it's less clear that that was done as a hoax. It's more like, how did this happen? By what mishap did this person arrive here? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, it, that's true. It's it's kind of what I was going for. Yeah, it, it's 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 like a water boot two mystery. You know, the problem the problem with that is is that <laughs> inevitably, inevitably, somebody's just gonna stop caring. <laughs> uh, you know if what you guys, I mean? For any viewers who don't know the water boot two story, you're gonna have to read it on the fan wiki. <laughs> <laughs> the fan wiki. I don't even remember what episode of what show no. we were. <laughs> it's fine. We were, you'll find it, it must have been Codename Iceman. It just feels like it would have been a Codename Iceman kind of conversation. But. There's, you know, there's only like a thousand videos to pour through. It'll be fine. You guys will figure it out. Waterboot 2, I'm pretty sure, was a, it was, it was a, it was a quest for glory. Some, somewhere in quest for glory. It was one of those stories that we considered not telling because it was such an inside joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's right up there with penis yeah, creation not. video. Yeah. And necro babes. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> okay. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like losing the game. Like, I, I do so well in forgetting about it. And that Matt brings it up again. Well, I live with it. So, anyway. Uh, the one circumstance I've mentioned before where I would like to become a deliberate mummy is the you found me one. Where I seal myself in a wall somewhere and... <laughs> set up the conditions to, to desiccate myself, but I'm holding a sign in my desiccated mummy hands that just says, you found me. So at some point, someone pr pries open a wall or opens a door, and there's just a grinning skeleton holding a sign that says, <laughs> you found me! Just all excited, <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, maybe, it's, maybe it'll be kids. That'll be great. I hope it's kids. Or, like, someone just, you know, suspects there's a corpse and then, like, you know, like some poor rookie policeman opens the, the wall and then like they have a story that lasts their entire career <laughs> yeah oh that's gonna be the best feeling in the world to suspect it's a corpse and then get in there and be like yeah there yeah there it is oh yeah like like you think like that's the fun of being <laughs> the an accident feeling in the world <laughs> that, that, that's that's the fun of being an accidental mummy is someone yeah. knows there's a body and then they go in and it's just a fucking 
spooky mummy for some reason. Like, you just don't see that. Like, people expect to see, like, you know, rotting bone fragments or whatever, but when it's, like, a whole mummy, like an accidental mummy, that's, you know, that's a real oh, yeah. treat for somebody. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm dying to know what these clothes are. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been staring at them, and I know you guys are in the mummy thing. I know, I understand. But, no, uh, no, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. I'm, for I'm now. not saying we'll come back. I'm to not saying we we'll can't. Be back come, we can't. Soon. We can circle back to the mummy stuff later. But you know, yeah, yeah. Mummies will return. Mummies will return. That's mummies what they do. Alive. If movies have taught That's me what anything, they do. Yeah, yeah. It's kind oh. of their thing. Now I'm thinking like. Do accidental mummies also come back to life? <laughs> mm. Like, if you get mummified on purpose, later someone brings it to your tomb no. and then comes back to life. But if you, if I, like, mummify myself in the wall with a you found me sign and someone finds me, do I get to choose a curse? See, that's not, I yeah, mean, see, you might. You might. In that case, because yeah. you are entombed. That's not a okay. many accidental mummies, you can't violate the tomb of the entire Mount Everest. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I, th okay. I think I think intent is very important when it comes okay, to the Okay, but if, if if I seal myself in the wall and I get the you found yeah. me, I can like haunt the person who found me. Sure. Um, At least there's, and there's maybe a... you have to plan out a curse ahead of time. Oh, I'm I not sure. I, I already know that I I already know I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna be a helpful mummy. I'm gonna like say Ooh. encouraging things <laughs> <laughs> It's just like But the curse is that they're not helpful enough. Is that is that how it is? No, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be like a helpful mummy sidekick, except like uh it's just objectionable because I'm a mummy and I'm like falling apart and like, you know. It's the same thing where like at first you don't think anything's gonna happen, and then gradually there's like more and more mummy sightings. <laughs> yeah, I know, I follow you. You're like what was it, Seth Green in uh, Idle Hands? Uh to cement my frustrations from earlier about my food order, I now have to answer a fucking phone call about it. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> For no. context, because those of you that were, you know, uh, here um, when we actually started the video, uh, we that was from a conversation that started prior to recording, so you know, obviously you wouldn't have heard it. But uh, yeah, Alex uh, ordered food, and then much like Dell computers, if one part of the order was not fulfillable, they canceled the whole damn thing. So uh, yeah, our, uh, our poor uh, Alex here had to uh, reorder his dinner, which uh, unfortunately did not make it prior to our recording time. So I uh, I have I have returned. I didn't actually have to answer the phone call. Uh, the wave of hostility that emanated from me actually turned the delivery person into charcoal. So, <laughs> nice. uh, that kind of enforced my delivery instructions of mm. just leave it by the fucking door. Don't call me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not angry at you, dear viewer. I'm just angry in general. I described yeah. your plight, and I wasn't involving Matt enough, so he fell asleep. I yeah. don't. If I don't find out what this fucking clothes is, I'm, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. I'm gonna fucking die right here. I, I've, I'm, I'm done. No more mummies. I'm Matt calling. and I, Matt and I are a little salty today. It's fine. <laughs> I'm done. No more mummies. That, Matt started in a good mood. Yeah. I'm he, done. He, he, he's finished. Yeah. I'm grabbing my right. liquor soon. I mean, like, do we wanna do we wanna take a look? Let's put yeah. let's, let's let's put on that mariachi outfit. <laughs> this looks like this looks like a guy with a beanie and really long buck teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like one of the Futurama robots. I know. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's take a look. Your old hat and gunslinging outfit. Mmm. -mm. Smells of camphor. <laughs> Yeehaw. Woo. You take your old gunslinger clothes and say, good guy model, and your good guy model Stetson hat, because it's, it's a good guy model. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Fuck that one up. <laughs> Sorry. 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 That's all right. What? No, it's, you're fine. Matt and Luke, would either of you wear a cowboy hat if you had a really nice one? No chance. No chance. Your most gracious Native American running gag permitted me to egress from the outside of the street. It was then that I allowed him to knock himself off for the remainder of the day, since we are still, in fact, closed. 
I think I'm too gangly for a cowboy hat. <laughs> I think you'd be the one to pull it off. Honestly. Uh, I don't know. I'm already such a spectacle, you know? <laughs> Just <laughs> fine, sorry. stilting my way down the street. <laughs> Look, uh, I've reached a decision. My life is something. Pardon me for saying this, Freddy Farkas, but you are a humble pharmacist. Shooting as a professionally as a gunslinger is a skill requiring most years of tireless practice. You are ill-equipped. Perhaps you should make peace with your chosen deity and prepare to go to the great pharmacy counter in the sky. <laughs> oh, I like that he's just, he's, he's a straight shooter, our new sidekick. <laughs> yeah, I like him. I like him. He's a good dude. He's like, I don't know, I think this is hopeless and you should just prepare to die. <laughs> Serena, you're gonna have to trust me on this. I, I used to be a gunslinger before I took up pharmacology. I did it before and I, I could do it again. Shouldn't take me too long to brush up on my skills. I just gotta find my guns and, you know, do a little practice shooting. That's all. I like how her tie goes out of frame. Our little bola. That's nice, yeah. Yeah. Very well, Freddy Farkas, when you are prepared, meet me at the edge of town, and together we shall practice what little must be left of your shooting skills. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love it. All right. It uh, reminds me a little of working with Earshot, because he like I'd never seen the guy sugarcoat anything. He would just That's always true. answer he, with yeah. just savage honesty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But like he would really... he he would answer so honestly you'd like taste blood. It was incredible. <laughs> but you would be encouraged to do the same for him. So Yeah, he he could also take it as well as he dished it out. That's true. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. Those flies are really enjoying that byproduct. Yeah, obviously this is inventory, so Obviously. Yeah, we have to pick it up or it wouldn't be there. You bravely, stupidly grab the steaming, fly-laden horse plop. Fortunately, it seems to be holding together well as you place it in your pocket. You guys ever stepped in a cow pie before? Ever had occasion to do that? Yes. No. My uh, grandfather a was pie, a... No. My, my grandfather raised cattle, so I have, and it's, uh, it's, it's not great. It's not a great I experience. I'm imagining it would be an unpleasant experience. It, Overall, it is, but also, like, it's not as bad as you, you, as long as you don't slip on it. Yeah, yeah, like it's the, it's like a, a cow pie is of such a radius that especially if you're a kid, you're just gonna leave a neat footprint right in the middle and basically yeah. cover your shoe in it. Well, that's the part. That's the part that I feel like you would not be too thrilled about because, like, you know, you you step in dog shit and you've got like a smear of dog shit in your in the like treads of your sneakers. Yeah, but, but like, like, like you step in cow shit, like that's the entire like lower half of your shoe is now just just like perfect imprint of your uh, of all the, your stuff there. But the the, the truth the truth is is that dog shit is far worse than cow shit. Yeah, dogs yeah. like I love dogs. They're loathsome scavengers. <laughs> Yes. There's just no telling what that dog ate. There's a good amount of telling what that cow ate. It's and it's grass and it's cow mostly food. grass and yeah. cow. It's it's grass and grains, and like it's it doesn't smell great. But like honestly, uh, there's a there's an honesty to it. it it's not an unwholesome honesty. smell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and stepping in it is kind of like it's just like stepping in used grains and grass. It's not great, but it's like I'd rather step in in cow flop. Than, than dog shit any day of the week. And you can quote me. Fair enough. I think I agree. I I'm think gonna... I agree. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to continue just avoiding stepping in any animal byproduct. But hey, that is the great way idea. No, I follow you. Great idea. If you can, avoid it. Yeah. 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 Wise words of wisdom from the level zero NPCs. All right. So now we have poop. Uh, how can we put this delicately? It's a fragrant, freshly baked road apple. Or, or is it a pile of corn fritters? Oh, la, la. And va, va, voo. Or are they racy postcards? They're the two ladies featured prominently on these spicy French postcards. Woo. Or rather, 
They're the two ladies with the prominent features on these spicy French postcards. A, a spicy postcard is quite a statement because it's just traveling naked through the world. Yeah. Right? A postcard doesn't travel in an envelope. Someone just chucks it into the mail. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Back in, yeah. 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 You're right. <laughs> like the mailman knows you're getting a racy postcard. Everybody knows. Yeah, Everyone everybody at the post knows. office knows it's going to your house. They can even read it if they want. It's just there. What the fuck is happening in here? I'm going to start sending shop. people more racy postcards than I currently do. <laughs> do it. I don't you even should. know if you can find them. Okay. All right. I need to know what's They're happening around. in here. Fletcher Castoria, the town plumber, sits here patiently, waiting for his turn in the chair. Castoria? Fletcher Castoria. You got nothing else to do since nobody in Corskull has plumbing. <laughs> yeah. Salvatore O'Hanahan is taking a moment to sing a few bars of the Barber of Seville. <laughs> hey, uh... <clears throat> I put out a fire last night and saved the town. You, uh, proud of me? Of course I'm proud of you. <laughs> of course I'm proud of you. <laughs> you wanted some teeny tiny little hairs? to sure help yourself. You actually decide you got no use for teeny tiny hairs. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the Italian accent because he's he's um I don't have a reason. I'm just gonna do it. Sure, no, why not? Nobody can stop me. You hand Salvatore the French postcards. Your customers may not be able to read Salvatore, but I bet they would enjoy looking at pictures. No, they're not interested in... Wait a minute. What in the hell are those girls doing? Oh, these are really spicy postcards. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not sure, but I don't think it's legal on this side of the Sierra Nevada. Well, now, your exceptional generosity has got to be reciprocated. Could I be uh, interested you in a free shave? No, uh, no thank you, Sal. But now about a free wisdom tooth extraction. Oh, uh, yeah, my, mine are already out. I, I had them pulled at the dental department while I was in college. I needed the extra money for tuition. Well, then, uh, let me see. Uh, he studies his barber shop's interior carefully. Hey, that's a got it. Uh, take this, a bottle of that newfangled nitrous oxide I got off the Wells Fargo wagon last week. And none of these guys around here wants to be the first man to see you have to stand on my forceps, put a little old tooth pulling. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I think you're nailing it. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, no, you're definitely doing it. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Salvatore. Perhaps I can use this in some of my experiments. I saw some nitrous oxide. His, uh, his voice, uh, is a bit like your sickly Mario. <laughs> I'm not a gonna make it. <laughs> Everyone doing a lot. hates me. <laughs> That's been doing a sickly Mario a lot lately. And mostly he just says, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> And uh, there's something really, like, captivatingly awful about it. It's not a gonna work. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Defeatist Mario. There's something so... <laughs> Ugh. My life is in shambles. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. What a few bones I have left. <laughs> My brother, he hates me. <laughs> Freddy Farkas! Look what brought in with you. What's next? What the fuck? Honestly! Fucking Christ. It's 
one of those n newfangled old Mr. Coffee machines. Helen sets it out every other day for free coffee. Oh, yeah, I love coffee. Who doesn't? Mom offers free coffee to her regular customers. Well, you're just as regular as anyone. 11 a.m. every morning, you head out straight for the outhouse. Yeehaw. 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 So as usual, you pour yourself a steaming hot cup of joe. We got ourselves a cup of coffee. In with the poop in our clothes. Yep. <laughs> and the nitrous oxide. And our, and our yeah, bottle of laughing gas here. Woohoo! Did we have a bunch of pharmacists this time? Oh, we 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 definitely have some, yeah. Yeah. Freddy Farkas looks at a bunch of potion. Look what you done! Freddy Farkas, I'll see you run out of town for this. Hop, sing, hop to and get out here and clean this mess. Damn these flies! Oh, oh yeah, you you're in big water now. <laughs> what what is he doing? <laughs> I don't know, like, like <laughs> spray. It's time to leave. The the um, um the laws of a lawless town like this are interesting. Where like, if you have a problem citizen, you run them out. Like you just chase yep. them into the wilderness, and then your problem is done because <laughs> it's like oh, out of sight, no out of really. mind. Yeah, it's not enough to hang them, right? Yeah. I'm tempted. Fresh apple pie, still warm from mom's oven. Wow, what could be more American? Oh, you put the poop down so Hop Singh couldn't see you steal it. Good move, Freddy. Right. Dropping one steaming hot pie to get another. <laughs> Good one. We traded a cow pie for an apple pie. That's a much better deal. Mom's apple pie. Now all you need is for somebody to invent baseball and voila, <coughs> instant Americana. Good one. I wonder when baseball was invented. I it's pretty old. I think it evolved from an older game. Probably. I, I just I'd like to not know that. Okay. You'd uh, like to not know that? Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I, telling you. I'm looking it up currently, but I'll try to explain it in a way that only Luke will understand. <laughs> I'm ready for this. No, I was something I was gonna suggest. <laughs> I just I you know, when it comes to sports. The less I know, the better. It's true. I have a um, like the opposite of an interest in sports. Yeah, yeah. I find sports so disinteresting that I struggle to be polite about it. <laughs> I thank you. Yes, same. Yeah, I get it. Like a like we have a a, a mutual friend, Jordan, who really genuinely likes American football. Yeah, and he wasn't he wasn't pushy about it. He wasn't a dick about liking football, and like no. he would even like explain things about football in a way that like specifically the things he thought I would find interesting. He was yeah. a very like uh like very respectful friend about his interest in football, and it was it it took all my concentration to 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 be polite about it. <laughs> <laughs> In a way that few other conversations do. Like, it's, like, to the point where, like, it's clear that I was the problem there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> like, I've got the Wikipedia page for baseball open, and I'm I, I'm too angry to find the relevant date. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not important. History. There we go. Oh, main article. History of baseball. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, further information. Origins of baseball. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are we doing this? Just kind of my penance, I guess. I just don't think I'm going to come back after the break. <laughs> it's bad enough someone wanted to take dirt from someone's grave. But do you have to do it with your bare hands, too? Score. Glancing furtively around to see if Doug's within sight, you grab his shovel. God, you got big plans, and I don't know what they are. 
<laughs> Where's the? Did I miss the shovel? I don't see the shovel in my inventory. Here. It's not there. That's bad news. That's really That's bad news. news. Maybe it's a maybe it's a new symbol. No, well, it might be. No. 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 It doesn't appear to be. Well, game is bugged. Game is broken. Unplayable. Game's over. Game's <laughs> over. It's all right. We're we're at half an hour anyway. Everybody, uh, come back next uh, time for uh, I guess uh, some pharmacists and. Uh, Oh, probably the history of baseball. No, I'm going to I'm going to knock that out here real quick. I think it is likely that Cowboys would have had a recognizable precursor to baseball. It, it's developed it's, it's developed from older European games, but probably what we know as baseball I don't think existed at the time. But the whole <laughs> tedious business of striking a ball with a cudgel and then chasing it around, yeah, that we've been doing that for as long as we've known about balls and sticks. <laughs> Perfect. There you go, everybody. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Stick and stay. We'll uh, see you next time. Hey, I'll be here. And if you want to challenge yourself, just Google Wikipedia origins of baseball and see how far you can make it into the article. Because like my like like blood is coming out of my eyes. Like my. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you. I, I can tell you how far I'd make it. I'm not even going to go to Wikipedia and type that in. I think a lot of people out there won't either. I just I just know what's I know what's there. I know what's there. You know? Pain. If any of you would like to torment us, feel free to tell us about your favorite sports. <laughs> no, we'll, God. We'll 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 read we'll read the uh comments and it we will it it'll cause us to sustain physical harm. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve it. It'll be like shooting us with a beanbag gun. Like for suppressing a riot, every time we reel, I'll be like, "Oh God, no!" I don't know. I don't know if Luke hates sports as much as we do. Oh, I tend to. There are a couple of sports that I'm okay with, but like, yeah, like only eclectic stuff, like sumo. Have yeah. You seen, have, have you guys seen uh, competitive slapping? <laughs> uh, I think I have. It's where and two guys. I'm all aboard on that on that it, particular train. It's just two huge guys just slapping each other, and they have to just stand there and take the slap. But it's it's pretty incredible to see like a a big guy just standing there and get slapped unconscious in one go. There's no protective gear. They're not wearing anything on their hands or their head. It's just a human hand connecting with a human face so hard that a vertical person goes horizontal. <laughs> wow. What is uh what what is your favorite sport? Uh let us know down below. Yeah. Sorry, Matt, that is our call to action today. <laughs> Whatever. He's so angry. He's so <laughs> angry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Tell us your sports. Yeah. I might but like you I know might, I might be back. Just, <laughs> just you know, uh, miss me with that like mainstream American football bullshit. Like, give us real sports. Give us interesting sports. Give us real sports. Uh, look, like, I, like competitive slapping. When I when I was in junior high slash middle school, I'm gonna tell you, I pretended to be into hockey because all the the boys in my class were into hockey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I just wasn't. My favorite hockey memory was how frustrated John was when we were playing that hockey game on Wednesday Day, and I could not stop, like, causing fouls. <laughs> because I could not comprehend the rules around that... where I was allowed to go and not allowed to go with the puck. I love that, I love that your favorite hockey memory was making John mad. You know, the video game. <laughs> well, he was so disappointed that I, like... Could not understand uh, some regular fundamental rules of hockey and was making playing that game very frustrating, apparently. So I love it. I love it. All right, everybody. See, see, see you soon. See you soon. We got some pharmacists coming soon. up. Pharmacists coming up.